All right, I'm clear. This meteor storm gives us great cover. Everything's closed up. They'll never see us coming. Good. The colony should be a few clicks out. I'll scout things out from the air while you head into the mine. Give me a shout when you find out what's going on. Will do. So you know how the first two levels were kind of easy? Uh, this one's not easy. It is not not a hard level. This game has some hard levels, and this isn't one of those levels, but this level is a lot harder than the first two levels, which were just really not that bad. I better try not to attract too much attention. So we got a little drop here. It's kind of difficult to fall without taking any damage. You gotta kind of crouch and sort of slide down. Let's just see if we can... Okay, there we go. So one of the reasons this level is kind of hard is that there's a lot of stuff that you just won't know about when you first play it. And you'll take a lot of damage. Like these. There's two turrets on the corners of this building. And as we get close to it, they'll start shooting and there's like nowhere to hide, so that's just bad. Uh, some good shadows there. This game has amazing shadows. Oh, so it does take these pro droids a little bit. Oh, that one. For them to get, like, in range, so... You can usually take one of them out. And I guess we're not going to be able to keep a low profile, huh? Well, maybe they don't know I'm here. I mean, I know there's an alarm blaring, and there's been tons of gunfire, but hey, come on. There's a chance that this place is filled with incompetent people. I mean, look at this. this. These pipes are all just falling apart. There's no way the people at this mine are competent at all. I don't think it's possible. So there's two ways into this building. You don't want to go up the right path, because there'll be a guy who will walk out that door. Well, let's see if we can't surprise them with a grenade. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. Well, see, I got a guy. Let's see if they like this, uh, this explosive here. Alright. That did a thing. This is going great. Yeah, I got this. It's just stormtroopers. See, no, no problem. Well, what's this? A new type of ammo, huh? Got some new guns coming up. We're gonna need a key, and guess what? Yep. Okay. So another thing this level has a lot of are... It has some ambushes in it. And we'll, we'll be able to preempt some of those if we're smart. Hit security! But it's another one of those things where if you've never played this level, you're just not gonna know, and you're gonna get hurt a bunch. Let's just charge, just do it. Alright, there we go. Gotta play aggressive, man. Gotta get in there. Get things done. Take them out. Gotta take the fight to them. Can't let these guys dictate the combat. A lot of machines in here we can't use. It's probably a good thing. So we got our first secret coming up. It's pretty obvious. Which levels have been infiltrated? We're not sure, but ours could be next. Is it the rebel? Probably. So keep your weapon ready. Uh -huh, another ambush, but this is not gonna work out for you guys. All right, let's get down there. Good thing there's a button in this little crawl space for the elevator. Don't know why that's there. Don't know why the crawl space is there either. It doesn't seem like it has any kind of purpose. I mean, it's a nice little grenade perch, but 
I, I kind of doubt that's what the miners use it for. I, I, I don't think the miners were blowing each other up with grenades. It's just a crazy hunch I have. Mm, I gotta keep my head down. Gotta let the guy upstairs get away. So, new weapon, trip mines, you toss them, there's a little laser beam, some touches the laser beam and it blows up. These are actually going to come in handy later. Oh, you coming back? Come on. Uh, no, he's just... I want to take that guy out. Oh, these must be the crystals that we saw. I'll kill him later, probably. Oh, wait, there he is. Not too late, buddy. I got something else to deal with here. It's another ambush. That can actually be kind of bad if you don't see it coming. I guess it's a little obvious, but... Not all the ambushes are quite so... telegraphed. Didn't I shoot you? Are you just asking if someone's there? Well, I... What else could that have been? It's just... Mm. So there's a lot of places to go up here. I did kill that guy, right? I, I, I can't... I can't tell if I got that guy who was on the walkway. I think I did. I'm just gonna assume I did. So that box is actually a trap, sort of. Let's just leave it for now. Let's make use of these mines. Because there's another ambush in this room, and it's a pretty nasty one. So let's just try to put a mine in front of this door, because this is a door. Whoops. Okay, let's try uh, a little lower, where there's more room. There we go. This is very important. Because this ambush is really bad. Oh man, turrets. Whoa. Yep. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot but that's that's like 10 guys. That is so many stormtroopers. And they're all gonna run out shooting at you and oh, it sucks. And here we got our new weapon, the bowcaster. This is what that new ammo's for. Bowcaster's pretty cool. Um, it's main fire is like a charge up spread shot and it's alt fire is like semi-auto but it bounces off walls, it's pretty neat. Looks like the tram station, but no tram car. Wonder where this leads. Hmm. So, unfortunately, the bowcaster just kind of burned through its ammo pretty fast. You'll see that when we get when we get to some guys. It just it eats it up really quick. But it is fun to use. I gotta know if I got that guy. I, I'm like 99% sure, but that 1%, man. If I didn't get him, I don't want him sneaking up on me. Yeah, I got him. Okay. Just want to be sure. Understood. Also, there's another ambush that I just uh, avoided, sort of. Ah! Ah! Yeah, you see it uses five per shot, so... But it is pretty powerful. So I mentioned that this crate is kind of a trap. It, it, it's not really like a trap trap. There's dudes down there, but they're the dudes with like the more accurate guns, and they are honestly their armor kind of blends in with the background, so they can be a little hard to see. You find out where you're stationed next? Yeah, getting shipped out to the Cairn installation. Whoa, nice assignment. Sounds like a promotion may soon be on the way. I sure hope so. 
You see, it's funny because he's going to die in about three seconds. So this is actually where we're supposed to go. Uh, it, may, it may not seem incredibly obvious where you're supposed to go in this level sometimes, but it's this way. Because you see, you see that thing that's leaving? We, we should we should probably follow that and go where that's going, so we're going to have to get on top of that, right? But if we just sort of sit here and check out what goes on in this room... See, everything turns red, and I don't know if you know this, but Kyle Katarn is allergic to things that are red. So that'll murder his ass to death, so we're gonna have to, gonna have to shut that off, I guess. First, I should probably get that supply crate right. Yeah, let's do it. I, I just don't like it because, you know, those guys, like I said, they, they kind of blend into the background. Look, see, look at that. That, that man sort of kind of blends into the background a little bit. Like, they're... They're, they're partially camouflaged, okay? It's not that I'm just bad. It's gotta be something else, right? I'm not crazy. Like, if your screen brightness was a little low, you wouldn't be able to see those men. So why we do that? We got some trip mines. It's pretty nice. Where do those go? It looks like there's like a passageway up there. Well, obviously that's where we gotta go, so let's just let's just figure that out. Oh hi. Wait a minute, was that the guy from the catwalk earlier? Did I actually miss him? My god. Okay, so how do you think? we need to disable that red in that room. Did you guess that we need to go down here? Because that is correct. You just hang out here for a little bit, eventually. That'll happen. And then we can go down. It's just kind of... All right. Now we gotta be fast here, cause if we're in here when the red comes in, we're just gonna die. So let's just shoot everything. There we go. And now it's safe. Then we can use this to get back up. Fast enough, I'll be able to just get right on top of the thing and just go. Gotta be pretty quick. I usually don't get it, so. Guess we'll see. Up. Oh. oh, that's not the right side. Gotta go over here. Alright, oh, there it goes. Well, I just gotta wait till another thing comes in. This is this is a very exciting part of the level. Okay, here we go.
Now it's very important that you are crouching, because that'll hit you in the head. Won't kill you, but it'll hurt a lot. At least I think it won't kill you. So I guess this is another spot where you're supposed to use the goggles. Not gonna, because it's not that dark. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh ho ho. Also, there's these guys. They're annoying, but they can be taken out with Thumb Baton pretty easily. It's kind of weird aiming the baton. You can't aim it at the crosshair. You have to, like, put the baton itself over them. but it's really great for these guys. Guns are just a bad idea here. Also, there really is no wrong way in this area, as long as you're, like... All, all the paths lead to the same place. So it doesn't really matter which way you go. <coughs> Enemies are annoying. What's this? Looks like the remnant are using slave labor. Is it like the same prisoners from the uh, other base, too? Check this great animation out, too. This is awesome. Look at this. Whoop! Who's there? Who goes there? Or I'll shoot! So fortunately, this this is some great cover. Let's just take care of these men from up here. You didn't notice any of that? Alright, whatever. No, sit, sit still, quit it. You can't escape your fate. You can't change with this. You guys have got some very bad hearing. Well, they are wearing helmets. Maybe muffles things or something. I don't know. Or maybe they're just terrible because they're Imperials. Also, this mining vehicle thing flying right over the platform with like its flaming engines underneath. That seems like a bad design decision. Like maybe the thing should be higher or the platform should be lower, or something. That that seems like it's an accident just waiting to happen. So does the open pit of lava, but... It, it, there's a lot of safety problems in this room, is all I'm saying. OSHA would not approve. Not at all. Well, space future Star Wars OSHA. Well, space past future Star Wars OSHA. Ah! I love that sound effect so much. It's just... Oh, it sounds great. I know there's one more guy up there. He's gotta get a... There he is. This seems like a bad idea, but, you know, whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. I think Kyle should be melting just standing near lava like that. Look, I want a little realism in my fantasy sci-fi games, okay? <laughs> like, the laser guns and lightsabers and ships are all fine, but come on. S standing near lava like that just blows your immersion away. <laughs> Oh, this looks important. There's glowing blue things. It's usually important. We're under attack. 
gotta take that man in black out, because he actually remembers that the E11 has a burst fire option. You guys didn't hear- oh, for God's sake. Stormtroopers, I know, just seriously, though. I know there's one more, where'd you go? No, really, where'd he go? This is weird. Hmm. Well, whatever. I guess he gets to survive. Maybe he's the smartest stormtrooper of them all. It's entirely possible. Let's get this first. Oh, right. This man. Give me that. Okay. Wasn't even worth it. Awesome. Mon Mothma was right, Jan. Remnant troops are crawling all over this place, and they've taken prisoners. Well, that should bring the Republic running. I'll alert the fleet and pick you up. Go ahead and call in the reinforcements, but I've got a mind to blow up and prisoners to rescue. Are you trying to justify your fee? Be ready for a quick pickup. I've got a feeling that things are about to get pretty nasty around here. Who needs the Valley of the Jedi when you're already gifted with such amazing intuitive powers? Just be ready to pick me up. As you wish, O oh Jedi Master. So we're gonna blow this place up while we're still inside, and just hope that blowing it up doesn't affect the detention facility. Jan, this place is about to fall apart. If I don't find a way out, you'll have to get help. Just get out of there, Kyle. Hey. You know, I'm, I'm seeing a couple problems with your plan, Kyle. Um, just just a couple. I, I mean, maybe maybe set a timed charge that blows it when we're not right here. Or maybe don't blow this place up at all. Let the Republic handle it. I, I don't know. I'm just brainstorming here. Just seems counterproductive to saving the people is all. I mean, it's a good thing that those prisoners aren't actually here. Because if they were here, they'd be dead. Like, they'd be horribly crushed by, by tons of rocks, like that man was. Also, these stormtroopers are terrible at killing these guys. Because they don't have any stun batons. Man, if only this gun had like a, a stun mode, like a blue ring it shot or something, that'd be useful, right? It's too bad it doesn't have that. Hey, why are you... Why are you... Come on. There, there's like a ton of bodies out there you guys could be eating. Why you gotta come after Kyle? You got, you got some easy lunch right there, and you go after the guy who's not dead and armed. That just seems like a bad idea. But fortunately, these dudes have problems if you're up high. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Uh oh. Well, well, these guys are having some issues. Yeah, I, I don't think this is gonna work. I, I don't think what you're doing is gonna be successful. Just saying. Well, just sit still. Okay, there we go. Well, that's that. I hope all these explosions don't mess up the tram track or anything. So wouldn't that be... wouldn't that be bad? Oh, Kyle's face would be red then, wouldn't it? Oh, how embarrassing would that be, huh? Uh...